<laughs> Today we've come to Puth Call, or in Welsh, Puth Call. <laughs> Puth Call is not as glamorous as places like, I don't know, the Gower, but it is a very pleasant Welsh seaside town and uh, a very popular holiday resort. When you come to Puth Call, you've got Treco Bay, you've Sandy got Bay. Sandy Bay, you've got Rest Bay, so if it's bays you're after, you're well served. Quite clearly, when you come to Puth Court, you don't need to worry too much about traffic wardens, because it seems that everybody's parked on a double yellow line, so don't worry about the cost of parking, it's free. If it's the beach you're after, you're probably better off going to one of the many bays, because if you come into town, there really isn't any beach at all. It's just rocks. Oh, the beach. Look. There's a bit of beach. <laughs> I think that's just because somebody put some beach sand down. So really, when you come down to town, there's just rocks. And then what they've done is they've sort of the put a bit of concrete down in front of the promenade and painted it yellow so that you think you're on the beach, but you're not. There really isn't that much in town when you come to Porth Call. There's no Penny Arcade. There's no pier. Pier Hotel. We've got a Pier Hotel but no Pier, which is quite interesting. And really, quite surprisingly, I haven't even seen a Father Jack pub. We have a sort of a mezzanine level across the promenade, so when the tide's in, when the tide's in you can come and get quite close to the water. It does involve quite a lot of steps, which kind of gives you the impression that maybe they get quite a lot of floods and things like that. The weather this year has been absolutely miserable. It's just rained, it's been cold, it's been horrible. So we decided today that we would come out because the forecast was that it was going to be really nice and when we got up the sun was shining brightly. Of course as is typical we got in the car and the clouds came over and it's all gloomy again. But it's not cold. This black stone you don't see anywhere apart from in South Wales and it's actually named after my paternal family. It's Sutton Stone. If you can't find anywhere to park your car on the double yellow lines you can just leave it on the beach. There is a marina in Porthcawl but of course you can't get to it. It's uh, fenced off and gated because the posh people that own boats don't want the likes of you or me anywhere near them. Right then, let's go and see if we can find where town is and if there's actually anything in town. I suspect like most British small towns, there are just boarded up shops, charity shops and that sort of thing. And I was right, there are boarded up shops here in the town. Oh, but I would imagine the Welsh shop contains all sorts of touristy type of things. Yeah. Rugby balls. Rugby balls and dragons and, and that sort of thing. One thing that is quite pleasant though is that we do have a busker to entertain the punters as they walk up and down the high street. <laughs> Well, I like a dragon as much as the next man, but I don't think I'm prepared to pay 60 quid for one. I think I prefer the saxophone player myself. Well, I don't mean to be down on Porth Call. I like it here. I think it's a nice place to come. Come down and have a pleasant day out.